Right, first skippy of the week here at the Nurburgring. Some weird layout that we can't pronounce, so we're not even going to try. Yeah, didn't qualify for this one. Need some SR. We're 1.5 A class, so yeah, we need to be a bit safe. But a small grid, only 12 cars here, is it? Yeah, 12 cars here. We have Andy Bootland, who qualified fifth. And we have Philippe uh, with a 25.9, which is nuts. And then Martin, Brooker, and Carl with a 26.2 and a 26.5. So there's some quick boys in here, but yeah, I'm here for SR. The track temp is 27 Celsius, 20 laps. Okay, Tony, here we go. Floor it, green, green, green. Long hold. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Clear left. Car left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. Perfect start, mate. This is great. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Still there. Oh, I'm not going three wide. Hold I'm not line. going three wide. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. I had no space there, but okay. Yeah, I, I nearly got pinched between the two of you on the way down the chicane, so. Right. On your left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear left. He's got a cool helmet on. He hit the wall. Did he? Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't have a lot of damage. No, no, hold your brake, hold your brake. Oh. Oh, you... I just saw that in my mirror. Why? Why did they have to... Oh. He did say sorry. Are you on your roof? I'm in the pits. I've ripped the out to the rocket. Every single time. Somebody else runs out of talent and I end up losing that. Because he's still going. What? Oh, he's still going. He's running in fifth place. The guy who ended up on my roof. He's still going. He's got to be pitting, has... surely. Well, yeah, but I mean, I've, I've snapped the drive shaft, I've had to come in. just done a 126.33. Nice one, Tony. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. Car left. Still there. Clear left. P4. No, he's not pitted. He's running eighth and he's still going. Good move, mate. Oh, that might be an off-track. Yep. First off-track. Lovely. Track limits. Uh, cool King said that's a bit frustrating, sorry. Look at you, Tony, coming for us. If you could slow down, that would be lovely. I'm going to have to wait for everyone to go past now. You're 12 seconds behind and I'm 3 seconds away. I'm going to have to wait, I'm going to have to wait, Anna. Yep. 
So I'm a lot down. Thanks, mate. I, I see. This is what it, it flips you over. It didn't flip me over. It put him on my roof. Oh, it put him on his roof. No, no. I hit him. He. I he spun out. I went up the inside and he T-boned me. Mm. Uh, and then the guy behind basically drove over the top and landed on my roof. And they're both going. So from what I can see, he's not even got wing damage. From wing damage. He basically he from what I from what I saw, we'd have to watch it at the end. He's 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 gone in too wide mm. into the U turn. Tried to turn it back, lost the back end. I've gone up the inside because I've taken the racing line. And he's just kept his foot on the gas. Turned the turned the um turned the back end round so he's facing more inbound towards me and then just driven straight into the side of me. Just done a 125.70. That lap time was 126.84. Wow, 26.8, jeez. And annoyingly, I'm now behind him. That lap was a 126.48. Sector 3 is 0 0.38 off the pace. Uh oh. Something happened. Oh. Where'd he go? No, that's something I haven't seen very often. What happened? He went pop. Is he disconnected? Oh, engine. Cal blew his engine. Oh, right. I'm guessing on the downshifts then. Yes. Oh, poor Carl. Jeez, downshifting blew up the engine. Oh, that's terrible. I've lost all concentration now. <laughs> well, annoyingly, he'll probably tow and still come out in front of me. He was at turn one. Well, yeah, but he'll have been so much quicker. The guy ahead has just posted a 125.36. Two more laps to go. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. That was a 126. Point five nine two liters remaining. So sorry. Push, get second place here. On what planet, Spotter, could we get second place? You optimistic little rascal. Right, last lap. Okay, Tony, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium.
right behind is now. Ten seconds. Nice race, Martin. Thanks, Billy. You too, man. Couldn't shake you. <laughs> I think there would be a 15 second ban for you two in this race because you kept murdering the cone in turn one. I think that's fair. <laughs> I don't think I saw a cone. <laughs> yeah, literally I was perfectly timed that every time I got to turn one it reappeared. <laughs> uh. Just on your front wing. Well, that's why I avoided it, because I thought, what if it pops in and it's a solid object? I'll probably end up in space. So, turn, whatever this one is. Guy in front goes a bit wide. Oh. And then gets locked together with a 12. Broken prop shaft. How unlucky is that? Should this guy have held his brakes? Probably. Would it have saved contact? Probably, because all the wheels would have locked up. He would have carried on going sideways. But he's trying to keep hold of it. Very, very frustrating. All right, let's go have a look at Carl. So he's in the lead here. Going to let you listen to the engine. And there she goes. Again, how annoying is that? Bit too eager on the downshifts, but uh, yeah, annoyingly, that can happen in the skippy. Annoying. Disappointing for Carl, because he was leading. Possibly would have won that race, to be honest, because he was in the lead for a few laps at that point. But he did a 25-5 all by himself, by the looks of things. That is absolutely insane. Right, well, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll skip out most of that race because nothing happened in it, but yeah, catch you on the next one.